Hey everyone, just wanted to share with you today a layout I made using the Amy Tangerine Plus One collection by American Crafts. I started off with a 6x6 paper pad and mounted my photo on a black and white piece and then I wanted a larger piece underneath in the aqua and so I've cut up a 12x12 sheet and I'm just going to kind of not mount it perfectly, just a little bit offset it underneath. I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on with the background there. That's gelatos on white cardstock. I was doing a project the other day and using orange and yellow gelatos and it just did not work out. But I still had the card on my desk so I thought I'd take advantage of it uh, for this layout because the plus one has a bit of a watercolour theme going on. And so I added some green and blue gelatos to the other side and made a frame for where I'm going to pop the photo. Next, I'm just popping an orange scrap on, from the 6x6 paper pad under the top right hand corner of the photo. And now I'm going to add a tag from the collection. Now this tag has holes punched in it for stitching. So I've gone ahead and stitched it in yellow embroidery thread and I'm just adding it to the top left hand corner. I'm going to jump forward a little bit now. And you can see I've added some more embellishments including some washi tape up the top there a flare, some ephemera and the title in thickers and also a wood veneer card from the two peas in a bucket store. Uh, this is a card that's designed to go with the collection uh, but it is exclusive to two peas in a bucket. Next I'm going to add this globe from the ephemera pack. Now it's going to go down the bottom the right hand corner but it was very pale so what I've decided to do was get my watercolour paints out and colour in uh, the stand I guess just to bring a bit of the yellow from the sun down to the bottom corner. So that was all looking good and fine and I finished it up and added it where I wanted to which is under the word bay. You'll see that in a moment. But when I added it it still looked really really pale. The tag up the top in the cream is really drawing your eye away from the globe and it's kind of like the bottom corner isn't balanced your eye kind of runs off so I decided to get the watercolors out again and I have a creamy peach color there and I'm just colored in the landmass to kind of balance out the page I'm not too careful about how I'm coloring it in I'm just kind of slapping it on I guess and that works fine for me I'm not too precious about this layout it's as you can tell from the gelatos that I started out with not everything's being totally exact here so once I finish that I realize oops I forgot England so <laughs> I'll just color that in next I'm going to finish off my title I've used all the S's in my black script thickers so I've turned to the accent sticker sheet um, and I'm using the mini alphabet just to finish off. The name of the building in the picture is Marina Bay Sands and I'm kind of glad it worked out this way because I like the little word tucked in there in the green. It's kind of like a little border underneath the word bay. After that I have a gap on the left hand side so I had to dig through my stash and I found this silhouette um, cut that I had done using a two-piece digital file. It's a little bit long so I'm just going to snip off the top and then place it above that wood veneer card. I'm hopeless when it comes to intricate cuts. I never know how to adhere them down. So I just go all old school on it and I grab my glue stick. I am using a uh, blue glue stick and that's so I can see where the glue is going because I don't want to get it all over my desk and get it on other projects and I don't want to get it all over my layer. So this is what works for me. If the cut did have larger areas where I could use my tape runner I would but in this instance the glue stick works fine for me. Now I want to add journaling but there's not a lot of it so I'm going to add it between the tag and the top of the word love and I'm using one of the cutter parts in the 6x6 paper pad. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring where I'm going to start my journaling because I want it to fit snugly right in those about two centimeter space. I'm not a huge one for journaling. I generally let the picture do the talking 
but as I didn't stay in this hotel, I didn't even go up to the top deck, I had to give a little brief a description of why I was scrapping this. And basically I scrapbooked this picture because this building is incredible. It's 55 stories high and has a giant like cruise ship structure on top. I've never seen anything like it. It really is an architectural masterpiece. So I'm just going to pop that in under the tag and the top of the photo mat. And then I'm going to add some uh, enamel dots to finish it off in the white space. So that's pretty much my finished page. Thank you so much for joining me for my first talking process video. I hope I haven't waffled on too much and bored you. I'll be including a full list of supplies underneath this video on my blog page. Thank you so much for joining me and happy crafting.